really glad that Hank Thomas is joining us. He's uh, the CTO at SCVX and is a publicly traded SPAC focused on cybersecurity. And uh, Hank is also the CEO of Strategic Cyber Ventures, which is a VC firm based in DC. And prior to becoming an investor, Hank uh, had a career in the Army and worked with Booz Allen Hamilton as a cybersecurity consultant and executive. Um, and I don't think I would be as effective at doing this if I was just a SPAC founder, if I haven't been focused on cybersecurity venture capital for the last five years, which get, we feel like gives us an unfair advantage with the SPAC. Given just the you know the size of the security uh, landscape, you know, are there any um, areas that you said okay we want to you know really uh, find this interesting or any um, sectors that you say you know we're not really looking to do X Y or Z? Uh, figure out uh, companies of the appropriate size um, that narrows your focus to um, to get to the scale that you need to be an effective company here. Uh, generally speaking, is the haves and the have-nots, the 1.0s and the 2.0s of, of, of technology, you can quickly then look in there and say, this is an antiquated 1.0 technology. We are not interested in it at all. This is this is this solves cybersecurity problems of the past. Um, so there, I wouldn't say we've we've ruled out um, any one sector of cybersecurity, we, but we have ruled out things that that wouldn't allow us to build a, uh, a technology of the future. And obviously the the pandemic um, has accelerated uh, what that looks like. Average CISO 120 security controls, moving it towards 40 or 50, you know, not just an orb that controls everything in front of them. And I think, uh, why not have more SPACs focused on this to, to start to roll this up? Are you able to comment on whether or not you have found a target company yet? I think you kind of uh, hinted that, you know, it's in progress uh, for that. We're, we're trying to pull a few more ingredients together than I think um, other SPACs are to just because it's security and we're trying to be a part of this consolidation trend. Um, so I would say we are in the ninth inning of the ball game in uh, getting the appropriate uh, team on the field. Um, you know, I, I imagine there's some great opportunities with like, you know, uh, administration, sales, marketing, being able to condense that, but are, you know, tech stacks something that come into mind? For sure. I mean, that that's that's part of what the um, deliberate process we're going through is, is that, you know, you don't want to say, okay, now that we've landed in the upper right-hand quadrant of the cyber defense matrix and we found our anchor and there's uh, two other ingredients that we're going to, we don't want to say the next word to be bolt on. We want them to be integrated. How do you view uh, your role uh, being in these companies after you know they're selected, the merge happens? Um, do you anticipate being involved day to day or more taking the advisory uh, approach? We, we want to play a supporting role wherever it is most beneficial to the, the business combination we're pulling together. If, if that's me manning a booth at the RSA conference, I'll do it. If that's me uh, sitting on your board of directors because you think I'm the right person or you think Senator Coates is the right person or Sunil's the right person, or Vivian, great. Uh, this is our latest portfolio company, and there's this is what we live and breathe every single day, getting the ingredients exactly right so that people have an aha moment when it's revealed.